this video I'm going to show you how to do the ultra minimal Windows XP look using stock stuff. There's uh, no, no software that I'm going to show you to download here. All the stuff is just going to be simple tweaks to the uh, standard environment. Now this is Luna which is has the bliss wallpaper blue sky, white clouds, green grass, plains, field, whatever the recycle bin on the desktop, a green start button, the quick launch, a blue taskbar, and a lighter blue notification area with smaller icons. So with that said, let's get to it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is move the taskbar to the top and lock it. And then I'm right click the taskbar, go to properties, get rid of the clock, and let's see what else here. Get rid of the quick launch. Go to the start menu. Customize that. Small icons. Where it says show on start menu. Uncheck both internet and email. Advanced. Do not display the control panel. No help and support. Uh, no my computer. Remember this is all minimalist. No my documents, no my music, no network places, no pictures. Don't display network connections, no run command search or program access defaults. Don't display, don't display, don't display. Clear the list of recent documents. I don't know why XP always pauses so long when you do that, but it does. Excuse me, does. Uh, what's the name? Highlighted install programs, general. Yeah, that should about do it. Okay. And apply. And it pauses again. And okay. Oh, there is something. I've, damn. Hold on. <laughs> Properties. Hide inactive icons. Definitely want that. Because you don't want to see anything. <clears throat> or as little as possible. Come on. There we go. So and I'm going to remove from the list, remove from the list, remove from the list. Now that's about as blank of a start menu as you can get. Minimalist, remember. Okay. Now right click empty area of the desktop properties. Uh, let's see. Change the theme to Windows Classic. Apply. All right. Appearance, effects, no clear type, standard only, no shadows, no contents while dragging. OK, apply. Advanced. I'll go through each one of these on the list. 3D objects. Color 1 will be black. Color will be gray. Active title bar. Color 1, black. Color 2, black. Color, other, white. Change that to. Uh, let's see, 100 luminance. No, I'm sorry, 200 luminance. Okay. Font, fixed sys, no bold. Size 9. Active window border, color 1, black, size 2 reason I put a size 2 adds a little more of a border around it, makes it easier to see. You'll see what I mean in a minute by that. Application background, color 1, black, untouched. Caption buttons, untouched, 18. Desktop, black, color 1. Icon, font, courier, 10 point. Not courier new, courier. Icon spacing horizontal and vertical, untouched. Inactive title bar, color one black, color two black, color other, white, luminance 100. So it's dark. So you can really tell the difference between active and inactive. Font fix six, fixed sys size 9. Inactive window border, leave as is. Menu, font, courier 10, gray. Uh, color one black. Message box. Font 
fixed sys size 9 color gray palette title unbold font oops career font size 10 15 is fine scroll bar changed from 16 to 18 makes it slightly thicker easier to see selected items color 1 will be gray color black font courier size 10 tooltip color 1 gray uh, let's see color black font courier 10 and what did I forget oh window I'm sorry yeah last one color black color uh, color one black color gray and actually for the active window I will change that to a bright green for a terminal look okay apply yeah this looks a whole lot different very computery very minimalist that's what we're going for here All right. now to run programs you either have to go to all programs and do your thing or you do it uh, with the flag key and R if I want to run Firefox I just type Firefox and it will launch alright now we still have the recycle bin on the desktop so we have to get rid of that google.com actually I will do this one better blackall.com <laughs> remove recycle bin first link tweak XP okay start run type gpedit.msc start actually oops I got to flag R uh, GP edit.msc okay and then it says here user configuration administrative templates okay uh, user configuration administrative templates and then what remove oh desktop and then what remove recycle bin on the desktop okay remove recycle bin there it is double click enable apply okay it's gotta think about it alright minimize and refresh the desktop and it's gone alright now the final thing add a minimalist wallpaper that has some kind of look to it uh, let's see here playstation controller buttons wallpaper yeah, this one right here. Full size image. Right click. Set as desktop background. Center. Set as desktop background. There we go. We're done. So, a very minimalist look. No question about it. You'll start to get items here as you launch programs again. So, if you want to run something like Internet Explorer, it's uh, start all programs, whatever. Uh, or start run I explore or you can just re-enable the quick launch like this you can do that too but that's not true minimalism so <laughs> but if you wanted to do it you can because some people can't go totally minimalist the cool thing about it is that uh, Internet Explorer and Firefox will both follow the black theme throughout which is cool you can use Blackle as your home page, which is just Google in black. That's all that that means. And when you go to other websites, they work the same too. The uh, scroll bar, black, everything. I think it's also black in um, Firefox, although I'm not sure. Yep, actually, it does follow. Okay. So if you want to run XP in a very minimalist look with a computery terminal-like thing to it, just stick to uh, fixed sys, courier, and uh, the other stuff that I mentioned. And let me get rid of that quick launch again. Uh, remember the group policy part if you want to bring the recycle bin back. So that's that. So there is your very minimalist desktop. Feel free to go into the uh, experimental uh, to experiment 
with the display properties in the advanced area because what makes this really look different is the 3D objects when you change the color. Like if I change this from black to say like a red and do this, see it really changes around the way everything looks. That that one setting, everything pretty much revolves around 3D objects. Or if I put it into like say a uh, a gray area or, or some crazy thing like a gold. This is disgusting looking, but you could make everything gold like this and it will fall suit. Anyway, feel free to experiment around with it. Um, I actually find doing the classic mods more configurable than when I use uh, the Luna theme.